Congressman Mark Pocan dropped by today. Here's one of the more fascinating questions. Check it out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Congressman Mark Pocan with us, taking your calls for the hour at 202-808-9925. He is the co-chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, the big cheese progressive in the U.S. House of Representatives. He also represents uh, uh, the second district of Wisconsin in the U.S. House. His website, Pocan, P-O-C-A-N.house.gov, and you can tweet him at rep, rep Mark Pocan. And he's here for the hour for our national town hall meeting. Congressman Pocan, welcome back. It's great having you. What's going on in... Uh, well, I know you're not in Washington, D.C., but what's going on with regard to Congress? Um, and, uh, you know, what do we need to know about? What are, your, what are your thoughts on this day before we pick up our calls? Sure. I, you know, we're continuing to work on what will be in a, a CARES 2 package, uh, the fourth coronavirus package. Uh, still uh, assuming we're looking at the end of um, April uh, or hoping to. Um, we know that the Senate Republicans are still trying to just include additional dollars for the Paycheck Protection Program that we would like to also uh, do some hospital local government money. So there's still some ongoing discussions on that. Uh, but, you know, honestly, I, I made the mistake the last several nights, Tom, of watching the president's um, press conference. And, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just dumbfounded. You know, I've gotten clips before. I know I've never watched the whole thing. And, uh, you know, what's frustrating is, is he always has done is give mixed messages on everything. And now he's trying to blame the World Health Organization for his failures. I, I just think, you know, we need to just make sure we're continuing to talk about this. I really do think even his supporters, from what I saw from some polling, understand how badly he screwed this up. Um, but we can't make the mistake of reopening too quickly either. And I think uh, he could be trying to take us down that path. So we have to be very vigilant. Well, in this morning's Washington Post, um, sorry, I don't recall who it was who wrote it, but uh, I'm looking here through my stack. Um, but there, there was a brilliant article suggesting that the reason why he read those 200, the names of the 200 uh, uh, captains of it, as it were, you know, fellow billionaires and CEOs and whatnot, yeah. um, was because he intends to blame them when people in the country. He's, he's basically saying they're the ones who are going to tell him when to do it. Um, I don't think this guy in his whole entire life has ever done something for which he solely took responsibility. Well, also, you know, what really made me nervous is suddenly he's now saying testing is all up to governors. But every governor is waiting right. for testing supplies and reagents from the federal government. And um, I know that we are not getting our supplies that we request in Wisconsin. So, again, this guy just can't take credit for uh, anything. I mean, he's just trying to blame everyone else. Uh, but it was painful watching that for two days. And, you know, I really hope the media, I, at least they're being more aggressive in their questioning. But it's time to just stop the Donald Trump show. It doesn't need to be a daily run. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'm calling them can't, I'm rallies. It's, it's the daily Donald Trump rally. And, um, you know, it's, it's just uh, disheartening. The, uh, what I've done for the last couple of days, we, uh, Louise and I discovered a treasure trove of great exercise videos over on YouTube. Um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, little 15 minute workouts, so, you know, to, to get yourself in shape. And so when Trump comes on TV, uh, we get out a couple of uh, yoga mats, lay them, lay them on the living room floor, and we do, we do our, we do our exercises. Um, and then when That's we're done with idea. that, we just go to Free Speech TV and say to hell with the, you know, 